Here's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man to play. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Back and down at the 49. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found his tight end there. And Boyd in motion right. And they'll go with a ground attack. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they... Now it's Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 and hope going in. I talked with him before the game, though, and he knows this is a new, fresh opportunity. He's put last week behind him, and his focus, getting some extra yardage. The holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try to hold on. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. That's good. On third down, Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time in the Cincinnati. They're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard. For the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 45 yard line. But not any run after it. Burrow looking to pass. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack we just saw. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking deep here for Chase. And that is caught. He's got it for a legal touchdown. Jamar Chase, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for the time. What he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game. And starting on that road, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple defenders get ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. That's a, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the back. Touchdown, Bengals! Earl Smith Jr. as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals will extend their lead here just before halftime. So after the disappointment in the opening week loss, Charles, this looks like really a completely different football team. They sure do, and I think they realize we can't start 0-2. And they're determined to not let it happen and ram his way forward and get what he can. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Just his second catch of the game. Burrow on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken. Now Burrow to throw on second down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's like everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. Third and goal. Burrow. And he's got it. Touchdown. 
Joe Mixon. A two-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. This offense certainly looking a lot more comfortable here at home. They lost last week in the opener on the road, but there's something about that home opener makes you feel more settled. Yeah, I wish we could quantify it, too, because... You're playing the same game. The field's the same. They're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback. It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it back. Third down. From the gun, Jackson. He finds his target, Beckham. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for the Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is choosing something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. On third down, Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now it's Jackson. That is caught, and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of it. But this is first and ten right now. Jackson will throw again. Completes it to Aguilar. That Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Luzier with a pick. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 41. Another 16. solid game. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Again, Jackson. It's caught. Beckham. First down is that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Here's Jackson to throw. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And he is going to get in there for the two points to make this a 12-point game. Needed a couple yeah, yards. I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there. Point keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. First down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. McPherson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall. The last one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Shifts by him. It's caught by Aguilar. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Bengals are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory. So this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too.